Ron Herbig, Pear Wickstrom, nice to meet you. Um, we're here today helping the youth and doing a little foundation work uh, for the kids here in Detroit and the Children's Hospital. And I just wanted, you know, I do the drug and alcohol business. We were talking earlier, you're a teacher. You've helped underprivileged kids. Mm -hmm. You've helped Absolutely. tough kids. You have probably, out of everybody I'm gonna interview today, you probably have the best word, you know, of what we need to do because you're hands-on. <laughs> you know, you're hands-on with these kids. What, what you're doing is a start. I mean, yeah. it, it's so hard because we talked, you know, earlier, Pear, about the root of all evil or this problem starts at home. Right. It starts with the family, the lack of nuclear families in our country. The, the divorce rate's over 50%. And not all problems, though. There, there are some troubled kids come from nuclear families. Don't get me wrong. Kids that take the wrong path and make poor decisions. Right. So, But it's not all I, kids. I, no, not yeah. all kids. Yeah. I, I really think if, if you can get, somehow educate the parents more. Okay. And they can help, you know, we, you have to get a driver's license. They make you take a written test. Right, you exactly. Take a driver's test. Yeah. But you can give birth. You can have, a, you can create a life. There's no test. Yeah, you know, I was talking That's to Corey. Corey Slesinger. Yeah. yeah, I was talking to Corey about the same thing. And he's, you know, he's a teacher too. And he goes, yeah, we got to handle these parents. I said, Corey, how do we do it? How do we get the school system, instead of putting the kid into detention, okay, let's bring the parent and find the root cause of why the kid keeps acting out. Peer pressure in high school is just incredible. Now you have Facebook, which just compounds an Instagram. So now they can post negative pictures. If Facebook was used for good, not evil, right. if Instagram was used for good, not, not evil, evil, we'd be yeah. a lot better. I think that Facebook bullying is worse than actual physical or inner uh, relationship type bullying. That Social bully, bullying Social is, bullying is the hardest. The, the, the problem is with some gateway drugs, and, and see, I, I'm a big, you know, anti-tobacco for smoking kids. They try it because they're curious. Why'd you try it? Well, I was at a party. And then when I was I was with my friends. Well, pretty soon, they, they, maybe they're starting to pick up a pack when they're not with their friends. Before they know it, they're a stinking smoker because they're an addictive drug. Well, the same thing can be said for other drugs, not just tobacco. When you talk about alcohol, well, you start drinking with your friends on the week. Well, pretty soon, you can, oh, that's a pretty good buzz. No, maybe on Wednesday night, you go and pick up a big 40 or something, you know? And before you know it, these kids, because it, it, whatever the reason, it starts with curiosity and why it continues is because it becomes an addiction. Right. And, 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 and they so try to solve a problem. Uh, and that's not it's it does, it you wake up the next day. Yeah, it's, it's just pushed yeah. back. Right, you wake up the next day. Yeah, that's right. It doesn't solve the problem.